What is going on, fish heads? Jen Carvassi, Jekyll Bates, and I am back in the workshop for yet another exciting episode for you guys. Today's Thursday, August 20th, 2020. Summer's almost out of here, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm really not sure. It feels like it's been very short-lived. I finally forced myself to take a day off of the uh, the grind, the daily routine here in the shop this past Sunday, and I did have a productive day. I'm toying around with whether or not to do an entire upload. I didn't catch a ton of fish, but I caught fish, um, a couple of really nice trout and three nice bass. My first pompadour catch of the year, which was cool. Uh, if you guys don't know what a pompadour is, it is a crawler, and that basically those guys are topwater. They're supposed to look like wounded birds, ducks. Um, it was a little guy. It wasn't huge. I'll show you the picture of that right now. But it was cool. I had fun. And a uh, picture perfect day. It was actually probably not 100% great for fishing because it was bluebird skies, high pressure, but the temperature was fantastic for Arkansas in the late part of August. Usually we're sweltering hot and it's really, really humid and the mosquitoes are horrible but not so much this past sunday so i did have fun and i'm glad that i got out of the shop for a couple of hours i've got a lot to get into in here but before we do that i want to start today off with the finished mackerel that i shot uh, yesterday i gave you guys a quick spray um, just one of those things where i kind of wanted to throw it together for you guys it was um, just a spur of the moment one i'm still working on a fairly sizable edit which i need to get through but I need to have the time to do it, um, and it's going to be a really cool one. I know you guys are going to enjoy it, but that is the mackerel. And yes, I signed my name with a Uniball Vision Elite. It's a Uniball Vision Elite. And you guys want to know what they look like? They look like this. Get them right down the road at your Five and Dime or your Walmart or wherever it is that you shop for stationary office supplies, everybody carries them. They're Japanese, they're light, fast, waterproof, and they're great. On to something that I've had a lot of fun with and I don't have them all dressed. I just pulled them out of clear coat. These are called ugly bugs and they are called that for a reason. They came out of the brilliant mind of Bo Merkel. He is a builder here in the United States, and he does a lot of cool, cool builds. This is obviously a topwater as well. Now, the eye that you see on this, I've kind of put my own spin on it for that woolly bear. I'm going to show you a few of them, um, but the eye that I was sent looks like that. Uh, it's like a 9 millimeter, I think, 9 millimeter eye. And uh, I went ahead and sprayed it black for the uh the woolly bear and woolly bears being those cool little caterpillars that you see in the fall and i tried to tailor the stuff that i was sent to this time of the year although they will work any time of the year and a couple of couple of takeaways first of all shout out to the builders out there the the those of you that are actually pouring resin or building from wood or really creating your own thing it is time consuming just to put one of these together that somebody else has already built let alone the time to actually do this the right way build these things drill the holes in them make sure that they line up correctly now this is not what they look like finished i do have one finished here to show you today in a different pattern but um you have to clamp these down you have hardware assembly that's on the bottom of these and then you have to screw this in even more so they're they're time consuming in and of itself and to be able to then you have to test them because who would who would you be if you weren't if you were a builder that didn't test your stuff right especially if you're going to sell something you don't want to sell something that's not going to swim right so you really need to do a, a lot of work before you even think about selling stuff uh, that is the woolly bear i'm going to show you uh, they just asked me to put patterns together and these are going out to kevin wilson for the northwest bass hole tournaments i'm not sure if he's going to do it for tournaments i'm not sure what he just sent me 10 of these uh that Bo had built and they come with a box of hardware i'm going to show you that in just a second this is the tomato hornworm one of my nemesis and arch rivals for every year that i garden 
Um, but I also, knowing that these are topwater baits, I wanted to try and create patterns, design the paint scheme to match a topwater bait that kind of looks like a bug. And I hope that I was able to do some justice to that one. And then I did, uh, we have a lot of, and they're all over the country, the five line skinks. So I did a similar representation, just a little bit different. Of course, I have to put my own twist on things. But I have these really, really awesome stencils from Brian Best over at uh, Anarchy Model UK. And I always have descriptions and links for these guys. Him and Russ, of course, have uh, a link that you guys can go right to their website to get some of the best stencils on the planet. Brian is in the UK, obviously, since hence the name, and Russ Allen is here in the States. But this is my take on a five-line skink. And then the hardware, it's similar, like if you're familiar with jitterbugs, any of that, um, this is the hardware. And of course, you have to take out all of that when you put it together. And you have to be mindful of the holes so that you don't go filling them up with epoxy, especially if you dip, like I'm a bait dipper. I did dip this completely, but what I did was I took my 10 snips and I took this little toothpick and I cut the toothpick into four pieces and I pushed this through as deep as I could to kind of gum up the holes to where you wouldn't have any drip in from your epoxy and that's how I and I maybe you guys brush on yours but I went ahead and dipped this it's a one piece there's no joints to it um, had no problem pulling the toothpicks out when I was done with it and as you can see no muss no fuss and on the finished example that I'm going to show you guys these went in beautifully absolutely beautifully so this is an ugly bug what it looks like when it's done and that jitterbug style screw in assembly for your belly hook and then you just want to clamp down and go ahead and you notice that I've got these all the way screwed in these eyelets that come with the bait and a good example of how they come and these were attached, the, the belly assembly was attached. But again, you have to do some more work to it before you can get it right. So there we have it, there it is. And that is a cool, cool bait. I, I wish I had been sent another one. I would be swimming it this weekend for sure. So those are the ugly bugs, the three patterns were woolly bear and caterpillar, the tent wore a hornworm and the skink. These are all one order and we're going to start off camera again with this duo realis this is the g87 the g fix this is the deep diver 15 to 20 comes with sticky 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 gamagatsu hooks and this is in the sassy shad and because he's swimming it my, my customer is going to be swimming this really deep the pattern that came with this duo realis was a very brightly foiled bait and you can see the greens underneath this mesh so I wanted to be able to use that in the pattern and still be able to turn over the color schemes that he wanted so there you go and you can see that schminky in there you guys have been asking what the what I uh, keep talking about this German iridescent paint it's called schminky and the iridescent line that I'm using, you cannot get in the States, unfortunately. There is a limited line of some of the metallics you can get at Blick Arts, and there's a link below for that in this video. Um, but this, uh, the iridescent is only available in Europe. So thank you to my dude that has sent me some. I am grateful for it. Because these are fan, and they're not cheap. Um, like two ounces goes for about forty bucks U.S. So I'm not using these on everyday baits. I have a couple of specific tournament anglers that um, that demand that color. So that's why I do it. This 
is the Fat Papa. Love it when you call me Fat Papa. In a bright, bright, bright fluorescent yellow. A little bit of detailing into that plum purple. Not schminky, sorry. We also have the style in that beautiful goby gray with a bright orange belly. And I know that you guys are used to seeing me do like the wild patterns, the crazy stuff that looks like this, which works by the way. Um, but when my tournament anglers ask for absolute specific patterns, I do exactly what they want because they're confident that it's going to be the bait that they need to throw to win the tournament or at least place or get a paycheck. So that's why we do what we do. And we do it to the best of our abilities. And then we have this like aloe wife pattern. Heavy, heavy glitter. And this is the, uh, the Com Art opaque pearlescent that's been mixed in with the paint. I didn't just do an overspray on this. It gets mixed in for these colors. And these are deep divers, so obviously he's not going to be fishing skinny water. He's going to be out cranking all day. Just very cool. And then on a couple of different smaller ones as well, those are the Papas. This is the Blitz in the yellow. Love those red eyes. And then the, uh, the medium diver. And that's what we got for you today, folks. That is all the news that's fit to print. I got to finish dressing these guys and get them out the door. Priority ship them so that he will have them on time for his tournament. I'm not going to say it. You know why I'm worried about mail getting places on time. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for watching the show. I will see you guys on the next one. It's probably going to be a spray session, and I should be able to finish editing the big one that I've been working on. Um, time has been limited. It has been really, really busy, and I have all of you guys to thank for that. So thank you very much for supporting small business, small U.S. business. Um, love you. Mean it. I will talk to you guys on the next one. Cheers, and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.